I know what you're going to think. It's probably BS or you're overhyping, but the reality is that this is actually pretty good. Now, this is called a layer path, and with one single recording, it's going to generate a step guide, a page guide, and a video. But aside from a video, it's going to have zooms and transitions all done automatically without tweaking anything. All right. So let me show you how easy this is and prepare to be amazed. Let's go check it out. What's up, everyone? So right now, Layer Path is on a lifetime deal, but we'll talk about that later on. First of all, we want to see how Layer Path work. Now, I want to tell you that I opened up my account. I haven't set up brand kit. I haven't done settings. I haven't done anything. All right. I've just installed the Chrome extension on this browser and I'm going to do a guide right now. All right. So again, haven't set up anything. So here we go. I am going to kick off the guide right here. I'm going to start re the recording. Give me a few seconds and I'm going to record a quick guide right here. Okay. So I'm on this page and this is my platform and I want to show you how it works. All right. So I'm going to select this form. I'm going to edit this form because I want to show you how to add an element. Okay. We're going to click element, add full name. We're going to go to settings, options, enable middle name, prefix. Let's go ahead and close this. And I'm going to show you how to get rid of it in case you don't want it. Boom. All right. Command E. Let layer path do its thing. All right. Again, it's done. Let's launch the tour. Okay, I made a click there, so let's go ahead and click on it there. Here we go. Selected the form, edit form, add the element, click on it. It's going to be added again. Options, step guide creator, right? We just need to add the information here, colors and all that good stuff, right? That's one of the things they created. The second thing I created is a guide. All right. The first one they called tour, but I call it step guide. All right. So now it's a guide now. So if I go to each one of these sections, boom, it's going to take me to all the steps that I did. It did it automatically. All right. Again, I can edit all this and I can also use AI to talk about what it has right here. So make it um, personalized with AI, but that's manually. All right. You got to do that. Next, it created a video, but watch the video. All right. Now, in my personal opinion, I think the animations are too harsh. They're too, um, you'll, you'll see this for yourself, but this was created automatically. All right, here we go. Boom. Click on that. Edit form. Add the element. Add the full name. Click on properties, options. You can change the amount of zoom, the amount of animation, remove animation, add different zooms, move the zooms and all that. But right now, this is created without me setting up anything. Okay. Like I said, I didn't tweak any settings. I didn't do anything. I just opened up my account and installed the Chrome browser. That's I think that's enough to amaze many people. All right. Now, when it comes to the editing features, each one of these sections is going to have the editing feature for what it does. For example, the tour, which I call step guide, is going to take me to each one of these sections and I can start editing it. OK, so for example, I can change colors. I can say uh, whatever I want right here. So start here, right? And I can change colors, tooltip, text, style, all that good stuff, right? I can change the layout for this. For example, if I wanted to look different, see here, and I can write the information here, do that the other way, this way, etc. fit, convert, align, etc. cetera. Um, voiceover, I can do a voiceover right here using AI. So I can talk about what's going on right here using the voiceover and selecting the AI character right here. So I think that's pretty cool. So I can also enhance it with AI, but I'll do it in the end, all right? We could also hide the slides. For example, if this one is not something we want to use, which is we don't because I clicked on it by mistake, I can set it off here and then have the settings for this and the image editor for this section. Okay. I can crop it. I can redact. I can annotate. So if I need to hide something, a password, an email, etc., I can do it with this. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? And again, you go through each one of these sections and start editing each one of these. All right. That's for the tour, which I call step guide again. All right. Next is the guide. So the guide, remember, it's a step section here. Again, I can edit these here so I can change it instead of saying click here, tell it what it's for, right? So go to the element and click on it, right? And I can highlight it like this, move it around. I can duplicate the layer and I can edit the image again, all right? If I need to crop it, redact something, etc. And then the video function. Personally, I think this is why I would buy this one because the guides that it creates, I think, are pretty cool. So first off, you got the intro, then you got the video that I recorded, and then you got the outro. If you don't need the intro, go ahead and remove it. If you like it, well, adjust it, layout, audio, effects, etc. Change what it says right there, and you are good to go. You got several options here. 
which I think is pretty covered with this section. Next, we'll go to this one and you're going to see here's my recording. I could trim it if I feel that something doesn't have to go there. For example, here we'll get started and I clicked in the middle by mistake so I can go ahead and trim this. There we go get rid of that because we don't need it and the video should start from here now. All right, so here we go. It's going to zoom in, but then we got the settings for the zoom and rotate. As I mentioned, I personally think it's too harsh. So I think layer path should adjust these from the beginning. Don't make it move too fast. Let us adjust that if we need it, make something more subtle and then we'll go from there. So that's just something I want to tell it there, right? So here's the presets. You can manually do this. For example, check this out. I can manually move the tilt right there and I have the option for the presets tilt left to a right if you if I want to use one of these or resort to default or just go ahead and get rid of it it own and only keep the zoom all right for the zoom I can do it manual and I think for example I said the, the zoom is is just way too much I think they should start off with subtle and let us zoom in more if we want to all right so for example I'll click on it here and here we go that's a more subtle zoom you don't want to go out crazy like it does right now so layer path um if you're reviewing this video make it subtle and then we'll tweak it if we need more zoom or more animation. So you got these settings here, which are super easy. If you need to add more, just go ahead and do so. And that's for the editing features right here. Now, let me show you the, for example, the AI enhancement, right? So they, they have this enhanced with AI, which I think is pretty cool. So first of all, it's going to ask you, what does it do? In this case, it's a product how to self person, blah, blah, blah. In this case, it's a product how to and a description of the recording. So I'm going to tell it what it does. Here we go. So I just told it it's a guide and what I'm doing is adding a name element so it can drag it inside of here. Okay. So now the AI is generating, you can see right here and what it's going to do, it's going to add the almost the correct information for each one of these sections. Okay. So I didn't have to fill out anything here. Okay. So click on the desired field and enter the value as instructed. So that that's, that's not correct. Finally, click the edit form button to open up the form editor. Okay, it knows the form editor. Remember, I didn't tell it it's job form or anything like that. All right, click on the designated area to proceed to the next step. All right, from the list of elements, select full name and add it to the form. Locate and click the properties. So see how it read the image or the video, you could say, and it knows this is a properties button. And this is doing everything automatically without having to me type in everything manually. So I would do this first and then just tweak it where it needs. So that was done automatically. And also here on the guide, we can also enhance it with the AI and it's going to help us with these sections. So instead of saying click here, it's going to add more details depending on what the elements are available in this picture. So it'll read add form elements and it'll add it there and click on it here, etc. Just like you saw with the tour guide. I, I think this is pretty cool. The only thing that I would recommend that they add because I've tested previously Fable is that they add, for example, make this a interactive demo. So that means that if I'm here, I can hover over these sections and I can open up the menu and it gives me a feeling that it's interactive and then I can click on the sections. So that's the only thing I would recommend that uh, layer path would add. But aside from that, I think it's a super easy, smooth way to create your guides. I, I can't believe how easy this is. You saw it on the video. And if you go to settings and you set up your brand kit, it's going to be even easier, but I haven't done anything in those settings. So when it comes to the deal, this is the lifetime deal that's going on right now. That means you pay once and you can use it forever. You have access forever and there's a 60 day money back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. So with no hassle, go ahead and test it out. Now, what are you going to get with this lifetime deal? So first of all, it's going to be tied to the plan. And if it's removed from the plan, it's going to be tied to another plan. So this will be mapped to a new plan in case it changes. All right. So here we go. Plan tier one, which is 59 bucks. I definitely wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't use this because it's pretty much limited and you don't get the video editor, which is what I like. So that's not a good deal, right? Last tier two, you do get the video editor, but you're not going to get the zoom transitions. Where to go here should say. You can't redact blur sensitive data. You don't get the 3D effects and animation. So, I mean, if you're good with a traditional video and just um, editing the, the normal features, then select this deal. But the one that's the best one is this one. I see tier three. I hate to say this, but the most expensive one is the best one. 
most of the time i will tell my viewers that you're good to go with license tier one or two but in this case it's going to be license tier three because this is what makes me uh get that emotional feeling that this is really great and you also get custom domain with the custom url all right so definitely if you need something like this go ahead and grab it now what i like about layer path is that you don't have to actually just dedicate yourself to creating step guides because when you have this video recorder with these editing features i think it's definitely worth it to consider to record videos i like the way that it does the animations and i like the AI enhancements oh and by the way i even forgot to show you but it has the ai voiceover that it can do automatically with this so so you could talk over the step guides so man there's a whole bunch of things that you can do here like i said i don't want you to think i'm hyping this and i know it's not bs you saw for yourself on this video how easy this was to create and once you're good to go, you like your video, you can go ahead and download it. And the rendering process is going to begin. So if you want to grab layer path and if you need something like this, the link we provided in the description. And I don't want to repeat myself, but 60 day money back guarantee because I want to give you the confidence that go ahead and test it out. And if you don't think it's worth it, if you're not excited about it, go ahead and refund it. All right. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.